Our second story is called Mr. Men Chinese New Year, written by the same artist. Mr. Miss Leet was very busy, very busy cleaning her house. It was if it was it was the day before Chinese New Year, and this was Miss Leet's favorite day of the year, spring cleaning day. She wanted to clean all away last year's bad luck, and as we all know, Miss Neat loves to clean. <clears throat> she even vacuumed the walls. There were lots of things she had to do to make sure that they, they, her New Year party went well. Miss Neat and asked her friends to help her decorate her house for the New Year. Miss Sunshine put up the flowers. Miss Lucky hung the paper cutouts for happiness. And Mr. Toll hung the lanterns high up in a tree. Very high up. <clears throat> and then Mr. Wrong hung the lucky Chinese poems upside down. Which turned out to be right way up because it was lucky to hang them upside down. It's not often that Mr. Wrong gets something right. Red is the good luck colour for the Chinese New Year. And Miss Neat made sure that there was lots of red in her house. For extra, Mr. Silly got out the red paint and painted the doormat. Miss Neat didn't think this was very lucky. What a mess. Miss Splendid used the coming celebration as an excuse to buy a new hat. A truly splendid red hat. Everyone was very excited when they arrived for New Year's Eve dinner that evening. It was an enormous feast. <clears throat> Mr. Greedy grinned in and pleasure and tucked in. He ate the beef and the pork and the vegetables and the chicken. He ate everything. And now my face, tur my face turned red. He even ate all the fish. Miss Neat was not very happy because it was a Chinese New Year custom to have to leave some fish. Greedy old Mr. Greedy. Each new, each new year was represented by a different animal. There were twelve animals, and Miss Naughty was born in the year of the rat. After dinner, she crept up behind Miss Shy, wearing a rat mask. Miss Shy screamed and leapt in the air. She was so embarrassed, she turned bright red. You'll have luck all year, laughed Miss Lucky. The next day, Mr. Muddle led the dragon dance down the street. Unfortunately, what followed Mr. Muddle's lead was a terrible mixed-up muddle. After this, everyone gave each other a red envelope with a, with a gift of money inside. Well, not quite everyone. Every time Mr. Mean tried to give away his red envelope, he just could not bring him to himself to do it. He truly is the meanest man in the world. On the last day of the New Year celebrations, Miss Neat invited all her friends around to her garden. She had bought lots of fireworks because the loud bangs would chase away all the bad luck for the next year. But she had not counted on Mr. Bump. Mr. Bump is not a very lucky person. In fact, he was not lucky at all. While he was carrying the fireworks, he somehow or other managed to trip and, and he somehow managed, managed to drop all the fireworks into the pond. Oh no, cried Miss Neat. However, however are we going to chase away next year's bad luck? Hello, boomed a very loud voice suddenly. It was Mr. Noisy. And as you know, Mr. Noisy is very loud. More than loud enough to scare away any bad luck. Loud and red. Now that's what I call lucky, said Miss Lucky. Time for story three. <clears throat> 